Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be doing an Ayumi Hamasaki inspired tutorial. I was requested this by a lot of people. Um, so this is what the final look looks like. I've used lower lashes on the bottom as well. So if you guys want to um, know how I did this, then check this okay, out. Okay, so prior to filming, um, I have already applied my full foundation routine. If you want to know um, how I applied my foundation, then I think I've got two videos that you guys can check out. Um, and I apologize if I sound a little bit croaky just because I'm sick. So um, if I look at this video when I'm editing again and I find that you can't really understand some words I'm saying, then I will put it down as a subtitle down here so that you guys know what I'm really saying. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So I guess the main focus for this Ayumi Hamasaki look is the eyes and um, we want to make a really really big dolly eye effect by using upper lashes and lower lashes. Okay, to start I'm going to be um, doing my eyebrows. So I'm using this Rimmel's eyebrow pencil in hazel. This looks like that. And it's just got a little brush in the end. And I'm just going to quickly, lightly um, go over my eyebrows. You don't want to do too, mi too much to your eyebrows in this look because the main focus is on the eyes. And so if the eyebrows are too dark, then um, it'll draw more focus to the eyebrows rather than the eyes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next I'm going to be taking um, my Kate palette and this is the BK1 palette. It just looks like that. Okay, and I'm going to be taking this Prestige, um, I guess, eyeshadow fluffy brush. This looks like that right there. And it's just really, really soft and fluffy. I'm taking that and I'm going to be taking this top blackish dark grey colour. So just swirling in that a bit. And make sure to tap the excess off because it is very pigmented. I've just applied it up to the point of where my brow bone starts, so just here, but in a very fading motion. So I've concentrated on where my um, upper lash line is and just faded it upwards. I've noticed that she usually wears a lot of gold in her um, eyes, so I'm going to apply a little bit of gold I'm eyeshadow. I'm taking my Coastal Scents palette, and this is just a shimmery palette, and I'm going to be taking this bottom colour. Okay, now just taking a regular um, eyeshadow brush, this is the Sigma SS 239. I'm just going to spray some water on it, and you guys can um, use Fix Plus if you guys have that. But this is what I use. Okay, so I've just wet the brush. By doing this, you actually um, grab more colour onto the brush. So I'm just going to go into that colour now. I'm sweeping it all over my, just underneath my crease. And then I'm just going to quickly line my upper lash line. And then I'm taking um, an eyeliner. This is my Bashua uh, Eyeliner Clubbing Liquid Liner. Tip is really, really thin, so it helps you to focus on what point you need a line. Notice that she normally likes to wing it out a little, so I'm just going to wing it out a little. Just like that, just so that you're extending your eye a little. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to smoke up that line a little bit just so that it's not so harsh. I'm just using um, the Kate Eyeliner Brush. It looks like that. And I'm just going to be dipping into that sparkly gold colour and going over my liquid liner. Okay, and just with the same eyeliner brush, I'm going to line my lower line. But what we're going to do is line it a bit lower than where our lash line actually, where our lower lash line is. Okay, so I've just outlined there. See it. Onto our eyelashes. For this look, you really, really need to stick on eyelashes. So I'm just going to be using my Lash Grip Adhesive Glue. And I'm going to be using these really thick kind of lashes. You can get these at, on eBay like that <clears throat> okay and then next you just want to stick on your lower lashes so I'm taking these ones that I purchased from eBay and they just look like that so if I just zoom in hopefully it will focus okay, like that so for these lashes they have um, one for your right eye and one for your left Notice how this area is actually shorter than the outer areas, like out here. So shorter and then longer, so this would be for that eye. Okay, and this would be for that eye. Alright. Okay, now that you've done that, this area kind of looks a little bit weird, so I'm just going to fill it in with white eyeshadow. Just using that colour right there. I'm actually just going to be taking Cotton Bud. Okay, and then just doing it in a corner as well. Okay, so you'll want to finish off with some baby pink lips and a baby pink blush. I'm using this Maybelline's Born With It. It just looks like that. Her lips are actually really, really pale pink. So rather than just leaving it like that, which is already fine, I'm actually going to top it off with Gosh Darling. blush I'm going to okay. be finishing with this Can Make Powder Cheek in PW11 and it's a very very soft and baby pink colour. I'm taking my Sigma SS187 stippling brush and it's a bit dirty but it's okay. <laughs> I'll wash it today. And then just putting it in there and just doing it on the cheek area. Focus more on this apples. Okay, so that's my Yumi Hamasaki um, inspired tutorial. I'm not saying that I look like her in any way, but um, that's how I would do her eyes, her lips, and her face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!